How many nurses have been showing you their legs? I refuse to answer that question. <laughs> Hey friends, it is the big day. My dad is going into surgery today. Um, hold on, sorry, I gotta turn on my air because it is so hot and I am wearing a hoodie because hospitals are freezing. Anyway, welcome to the vlog and uh, yeah, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And I really don't know what to expect today, but we're going down to Carmel, essentially, uh, for my dad's surgery. He has been wanting this for years. He's been needing this for years. And um, I'm late, of course. I was supposed to leave my house at 7.30 to be there like long before eight. It is 7.43 and I'm late. So no surprise there, no surprise there. But we're gonna get there and I'm going to vlog. I have his permission. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be showing like the surgery or anything like that. I'm definitely not going to be showing anything that makes my dad look vulnerable or bad. But, I mean, if you're looking into getting a knee replacement, um, yeah, I'm going to try to cover the bases and get as much information as possible so that I can share it with you and vlog uh, this experience with my dad. We're going down today. It's Monday. It's Monday, June 11th, and um, we're gonna be there. He gets admitted today, he has surgery at 11, he has to be there by nine. It's like a really fast process. They don't, like he'll have like a scar, obviously. Um, he kind of showed me the details of how the knee surgery is done. They actually like shave away parts of the bone and then put the knee, the knee replacement joint um, over top of that. Basically, he doesn't have any cartilage and it causes him to be very bow-legged. So supposedly after this surgery, his leg should be straighter, obviously stronger, obviously a lot less painful to walk. Um, I'm so excited. We are only doing one knee today. I'm not sure exactly when the other knee, sorry, my nose itches in the morning. Um, and this is the first time I'm talking, so I have no idea how obnoxious I sound. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly like how soon we're gonna be doing the second knee. I should be turning my lights on. Okay, my lights are on. Um, it is still kind of dark. Okay, first of all, I try to do my makeup. My eyebrows are atrocious. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with them today, but they're a hot mess. Yeah, it's 7.45. I don't get up this early. I didn't go to sleep until 5 a.m. So I've had, mm, I got up at 6.30. So yeah, I've had an hour and a half of sleep. I'm glad I'm not driving down. However, I am driving home. But hospitals have tons of free coffee, so it's gonna be fantastic. But I'm trying to race to my parents' house right now because we have to be leaving in less than 14 minutes. So I hope they don't leave without me. But I'm gonna keep you guys updated over these next three days. So it's Monday, he comes home on Wednesday. Um, his insurance get, lets him stay for three days, which I think is really, really, really awesome. My dad had to go through a series of testing in order to be able to get a knee surgery. Uh, he is diabetic. Um, he does have a little bit of a waist, weight issue. However, he is kicking ass in that department. Um, he's been sticking to his diabetic diet. He's been losing some weight. He's looking good, as always. And, um, oh, I'm going 50 and a 40. It's okay. I'm coming for you, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then uh, he had his cardiology testing and that went well. Um, I mean, all of the testing has come back that he is a prime candidate to go through this surgery. I snuck some crystals into his computer bag. So all is gonna go well, you guys. It's all gonna be okay. Um, he's a little bit nervous, naturally. I would be freaking out if I was having surgery. I've never had like, well, I've had a DNC. Um, 
and that wasn't, I mean, that was kind of a major surgery, I think, because they gave me general anesthesia. However, I hit the doctor, so I don't know if they gave me general anesthesia because they always give people who have DNCs general anesthesia, or if it's because I hit the doctor. Um, I don't know. So, okay, you guys, well, I will see you in and out through the next three days. I really want to vlog this. I really want to get as much as possible. I cannot wait to see my dad with a new knee. This has been a long time coming. Anybody who knows me knows that my dad is my best friend, and I'm so excited for him. I mean, I'm nervous too, but I'm not letting myself focus on that. My concern over the next three weeks is 100% my dad. And it's awesome because like physical therapy is actually going to be coming to his house. So my plan is to help keep up with the yard, help my mom, keep up with the housework. Um, yeah, just do as much as I possibly can over the next three days. Well, next three weeks. Guys, I'm gonna go because I'm literally coming up to my parents' house. I've said it like five times, but I will keep you updated and I will see you soon. Okay, we are on the road and we are on the way to get my dad a new knee. I have a lot of people in this car who do not like to be videotaped, so it looks like I'm by myself, but I'm not. Um, my mom is here and my sister is here and they are camera shy, even though they are beautiful people. Uh, my dad is here and I'm going to videotape him. I'm really hoping that he gets like out of surgery and was like super doped up so that I can videotape that and then use it for blackmail. <laughs> so, okay, so we're on our way to go get my dad a new knee. And we're gonna stop at Steak and Shake. And we're gonna stop at Speedway. We have a lot of stops. <laughs> we should have left a lot earlier. I should have gotten there a lot earlier. And, um, oh, I got the back of your blue hair. The blue hair. The messy part. The messy part. I got the messy part of my sister's hair. <laughs> The hair right here, this is my sister. <laughs> I won't show my mom because she'll probably flip me off or something. Oh, oh, but she's not flipping me off. But oh, those hands, those those hands right there are my mom. Uh, <laughs> there's my mom! <laughs> my dad. Look at this silver fox. Look at this silver fox. Who is the, the, the man of the year? That would be me. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm the celebrity today. My dad is a celebrity today. Okay vlog, I will see you after a bit because otherwise it would just be me talking all the way to Carmel, <laughs> which I could do, <laughs> but I'm not going to. And I don't have anybody to participate and jump into my vlog. However, I'm gonna break their spirits and they're going to be in the vlog over the next three days. You will see that my mom and my sister are actually with me. Um, and they're not just like in my head, so. We're here, we made it to the hospital like right on time. He needed to be here at nine. I think we got here at nine. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Exactly at nine. And they are currently checking him in. So the process is beginning. This might be the coolest hospital ever. So they give us this number right here. And they have this screen, which I really want to go vlog, but I'm not going to because there's a guy over there and I don't want to look like a weirdo. But so they give you like these different um, color codes. And so you can go check this screen and see what uh, like position in the surgery process that he's in. Uh, right now he's pink, so he's arrived in pre-op. And soon we get to go back there and see him. He's gonna be in a lovely gown and ready to go but i just think it's really neat so like we don't have to keep bugging them but we can like also keep track of the whole process my mom is not letting me steal stuff that i want to steal and <laughs> i'm gonna put her on camera no <laughs> i do crazy stuff and you won't be able to do it <laughs> My mom thinks she's gonna do crazy stuff and I'm not gonna post it. Does she not know me? <laughs> and by the way, I am gonna take what I wanna take. No, you're not. <laughs> she's afraid we're gonna get kicked out of the hospital. It's not gonna happen, my dad's having surgery. Are they just gonna like refuse his knee because I'm taking like a jar of shells? No. That's the point of being in the hospital, is taking stuff, like magazines. Gloves, peacups. 
chairs. Chairs? Do you need some furniture? I like that table. This lamp is pretty cool. I mean, look at this lamp. I don't know. What would somebody for real do if you just started taking a chair and flipped it? <laughs> what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? There's security, but it's just supposed to keep people from like stealing patients. Not jars of shells, which she doesn't know. It's one of those are going home with me. Obviously and my sister, look how cute my sister's bag is. It is a kitty cat. And I'm going to go, when, when they call us back, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom and I'm going to put a jar of shells in there. Yeah, so. You'll see. <laughs> we are in the pre-op. Um, it's happening. And he's already got his IV. And we've already been through the instructions of what's going to happen before and after. You want to say real fast how you're feeling? Feeling fine right now. He's positive. He's gonna make it through. <laughs> he's gonna be just fine, and he's going to be running around the room in a couple of hours. I don't know. About that. <laughs> Not unless there's a good-looking nurse in front of me. Oh, well, that one that was in here was cute. <laughs> With the knee replacement, where she was, I mean, she showed you some leg. Which one? How many nurses have been showing you their legs? I refuse to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this will be interesting. What does that say? Fall risk. Fall Well, because he's going to be doped up. The doctor, I got a good vibe off of him. He seemed really nice. He had a kind face. He had really kind eyes. So I think that you're in really good hands. So I think you're going to be he's just like fine. He's the number two guy in Indiana. Uh, he's done like three times as many surgeries as the other guy. So oh. he's got more experience, so I would, that's why I chose him. I would rather go with somebody who had more experience. Yeah. Like, it's not like a Yelp review, like, you know, well, 3.5 stars. That and your math teacher recommended it. Yeah, a math teacher that I was in school with, he was, let's see, fourth grade, fifth Something grade? Like that, yeah. I hated him and then he became really cool and then he recommended my dad where to get a new knee. So, thanks Mr. Davis. <laughs> All right, we will see you in uh, post-op. Okay, so update. My mom, my sister and I have all fallen asleep and my mom and I were jolted awake because a nurse <laughs> said, well, my mom heard Dr. Johnson and I heard patient 80516. <laughs> Both were like, what? <laughs> um, my dad's been in surgery for how long, mom? An hour and 40 minutes. An hour and 40 minutes. And they gave him a two hour block. So I'm hoping that the reason why it's a little bit longer is. Um... Wait, did they just change his status? It was in progress, was great. I think it changed. His status actually may have changed. What does it say? Oh, still in progress? Dang, okay, well, so he should be done in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Um, they allotted two hours. Um, I just hope that, you know, it's not a big deal that it's actually taking two hours. But nobody's come in so that there's been any complications, so I'm assuming that everything's fine. Uh, so hopefully we see him soon and, um, well, he's going to be in recovery, so we still have a good hour and a half before we see him, right? Yeah. So it'll be a little bit before we see him, but hopefully his status changed. He's in, like, the post-op recovery or whatever it's called. This is, like, a really cool hospital. It's really nice. Everybody's really nice. They have complimentary coffee. Okay, I was really uncomfortable, but now I'm, like, really... This is actually quite comfortable. It's like I'm in a nest, and it's working out for me pretty well. So I think I'm gonna go back to sleep. Um, yeah, so we're still waiting to find out what's going on with my dad. Hey you guys, okay, so I'm not in focus. There we go, major update. My dad has made it through surgery and he is a-okay. Uh, it took a little bit longer than they had thought and the doctor was like, yeah, there was no cartilage. It was bone on bone, raw bone on bone. So, but he's in recovery. Um, 
we don't get to see him for like another hour and a half. It's 3.11, so in about an hour and a half, he should be ready to come back up here and then we can hang out with him. But until then, we're just gonna eat our feelings, I guess. I'm gonna eat my feelings. This has been a good experience, except since my dad got on the floor finally, which I didn't vlog because he's kind of out of it and I don't wanna do that to him, we kept telling the nurse that he was ready to eat and she kept saying that she'll check the charts, which she didn't do. And then by the time, uh, she never said that the cafeteria had a certain time that it closed and we can't get anybody to come into the actual room. And so finally we do, but, so they say the cafeteria is closed and that they don't have any food. They have boxes of sandwiches, which my dad is a diabetic. He's not eaten since 7 p.m. yesterday. My dad's a diabetic. They want to give him a box of um, an apple chips and a ham sandwich. Like that's not diabetic friendly. So now we have to go to um, Chick-fil-A. We have to find Chick-fil-A, go get him a salad. Luckily, I have a little bit of money. So. Yeah, like this is ridiculous. Like why, you can't like not feed a diabetic, you can't like not feed your patients. Well, it's too late, they're closed. Well, I don't care, get him some food, feed my dad. So I'm a little bit pissed, my mom's pissed, we're pissed. We're gonna go save the day and get him some food. And I don't know, it is gonna be like a market fresh salad, so he's gonna at least enjoy that, but he's doing really well. Um, I'll talk about that later, but right now we're gonna get food and then I'll actually explain what's going on with him. Hey you guys, it is the evening, which is why this lighting is so bad. Um, it's actually 9.21, I'm back in Kokomo. I'm actually driving home from my mom's house, I'm back in my truck. As much as like my dad has the coolest little green car, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm just not used to driving a little vehicle, I'm used to driving my truck, and so I like my truck a lot more. All right, so update on my dad. Um, I guess when he came out of surgery, uh, his blood pressure was really low. It was 80 something over something. And then um, his, his blood sugar was high. Not like super high, but it was like 178 or something. So on the high side, they want to keep it under 200. And so he had um, a hard time kind of waking up. And uh, so they ended up keeping him extra long down in the recovery room and that's why it took him so long to get up to his actual room. By the time we left though, I mean, he was definitely hangry. And like I said, those nurses, oh, were they irritating. They were so irritating. However, when we left, he had the sweetest lady as his nurse, well, like assistant nurse. And I think it's because my mom gave the death stare and she could see like the three of us were about to snap. You don't mess with my dad. And um, she was like, oh, let me get you some silverware. Let's like, let's just test your blood sugar. Let's help you get a little bit higher in your bed. Um, there's Crystal's house, hi Crystal. Uh, and then, I mean, she was just so attentive. She was just nice. She was efficient. Um, she was cool, she was really cool. And I'm really hoping that she ends up taking care of him, taking care of him for the rest of the night. She makes me feel comfortable with leaving him. So the game plan is uh, tomorrow. They didn't have him stand up, and they said that he was going to be standing up like shortly after his surgery. So I don't know if they didn't do that because of his uh, like blood pressure and the fact that he really wasn't like super conscious. Um, and he was on oxygen. I think once he finally got some food in front of him and he was eating, he started to kind of wake up when we were leaving. So I just hope that he gets a really good night uh, of rest. And then tomorrow, they should be getting him to start therapy is what my understanding is. I mean, the whole hospital was super duper cool. It was super duper chill. The doctor talked to us, told us everything, kept us updated. I mean, it was an amazing experience from my opinion. The only, the only glitch was the nurses when my dad was first brought up. And basically it was 
the one nurse who just seemed really inattentive and so it was irritating and you can't expect a diabetic to not eat for 24 hours and be okay because when we left his blood sugar was like 190 something so but that was again before he ate so now he's gotten some food in his system so far he was kind of moving his leg around a little bit um, we found a way for him to prop his leg up on a pillow and it was helping a lot with the positioning so it's been a good experience for him they've got this really neat pack I'm not really sure how it is, but it like gives pressure, but then it also cools. They've got him on some painkillers, but it's not so much that it's knocking him out. He is feeling a little bit of pain. They put a pain blocker in his knee that's supposed to last for 24 hours, but it doesn't seem like it's doing super well. But his pain isn't necessarily like in the front or sides of his knee. He said it's on the back. But the doctor did say that his knee had no cartilage. It was raw bone to raw bone. So I'm guessing that that might have an effect on how his pain level is too. Um, and that's part of why surgery took so long is they had a little bit more work than what they, they had thought they had. I'm gonna pick up with this vlog tomorrow. Uh, we're, I'm supposed to meet my mom at like 10 and then we're heading down because visiting hours are at 11. Um, and then we're just gonna hang out with my dad. So yeah, that is what's going on. And I guess I will just see you guys tomorrow morning.